our Arkel Training Videos channel. In this video, we will show you how to use RPAS function using COP buttons with R code. RPAS is a function that provides the ability to passcode protect access to floors. That's permit for the administrator of the building to define passcode with command buttons, COP buttons, or with an external card reader, is a prepaid software feature and requires a feature license key. To get this license key, a token should be purchased from Arkel Sales Department. In order to be activated, RPAS is a function can be used only when Arkel CPC board is used as the COP controller. Currently, the function is not available with other third-party R-code compatible COP boards. To get the token, you can contact Arkel Sales Department via email sales at arkel.com.tr. After you get the token from our sales department, access with RM to system information screen and take a picture for the ID number. Then from your navigator, access to our website www.arkel.eu. Under Technical Support tab, click in License Activation. Then click in Click to Create a License Code. After that, fill the ID number and the token that you bought it from sales. Finally, the license will appear. On RM, Press Tool and access to device parameters. Then enter RPAS license key that you obtained from our website in the parameter RPAS feature license code. After entering the license, you must escape from device parameters menu and save the parameters. Then access again to device and parameters menu. Reach RPAS settings under the parameter Special Elevator Function. Enable RPAS function and set the parameter working type with COP. Then set the number of digits of floor passcodes parameter and it should be between 4 and 8. The master passcode must be 8 digits. To enter passcode setting mode, press and hold the door open button and enter the master passcode. Release the door open button. If the entered master passcode is correct, the door open button LED will start to flash and a periodic beep will be heard, indicating that passcode setting mode is active. If the entered passcode is incorrect, no response is given. To set the passcode for a floor, press the command button of the floor to be set. Floor button LED will start flashing and an audible signal will be heard. Press and hold the door open button. Enter the passcode. Number of button presses must be the same as what was set on RM parameters. Release the door open button. If the number of button presses is the same as what was set on RM parameter, a confirmation sound will be heard and passcode of the floor will be temporarily set. Repeat these steps for each floor to be assigned a passcode. To exit passcode setting mode and save the changes, press and hold the door open button. Enter the master passcode. Release the door open button. If the entered passcode is correct, all buttons LEDs will flash two times and a confirmation sound will be heard. This indicates that the passcodes are saved. Finally, press any locked floor and directly set the passcode. The call will be taken. If the passcode is wrong, an error will be heard. To cancel the floor passcode, press and hold the door open button and enter the master passcode. Release the door open button. The door open button LED will start to flash with periodic beep. Press the command button of the floor. The floor button LED will start flashing and an audible signal will be heard. And press and hold the door open button for 5 to 10 seconds, then release. An audible signal will be heard and the floor button of the floor will stop flashing. 
To exit passcode setting mode and saving the changes, press and hold door open button. Enter the master passcode, then release the door open button. The floor is unlocked. It is possible to give a call.